All right, guys, so Piggy Blood 2 Chapter 4 is officially out, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down everything that happened in this chapter, including the huge cliffhanger ending, as well as all the notes, all the secrets, and everything you need to know, and everything you missed in this chapter. You know, before we begin, I do want to say, just like we do with every new Piggy update, I am going to be giving away a few Roblox codes to you guys. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below with your Roblox name, Discord name, Twitter name, some way for me to contact you, and I'll pick two winners in the next video. With that being said, there's a lot to go over in this video, so let's get started. Also, there will be be spoilers obviously so this chapter opens up with you waking up in the safe house there's explosions the safe house is shaking the roof and and the walls are starting to crumble stuff is happening george is waking you up he, he's he's going crazy he's frantically he's stressing out he's trying to escape he's like what in the world's going on so he wakes you up and then you and george make your way through the safe house as everything's starting to fall as the place is lighting well it, it is lit on fire there's fires all over the place and basically your job is to go through all the rooms and make sure that everyone makes it out safely all right you rescue pony you rescue mimi you rescue giraffe you basically go through and make sure that everyone is accounted for now while searching throughout the safe house you actually find out that zizi's sister zuzu and zizi i always get their names wrong anyway they actually escaped through a vent in their room and it closed behind them so they are gone we actually don't know where they are right now anyway the rest of you guys you got pony you got georgie you got giraffe you got mimi and of course you you escape through the front door of the the safe house and waiting outside you find out that all the rumbling all the fires everything that's been going on is uh, tsp you've got willow wolf and her crew they are outside they're shooting rockets at the building they're they're throwing stuff through the windows they, it's crazy willow wolf says that well you made a mistake all right you, you caused some damage you caused some turmoil and and you messed up their their safe house you messed up the the refinery the oil place because when you went to rescue zizzy and rip zizzy uh well, they're, they're not too happy about that, basically. They followed you back here, and now they're they're ready for some revenge. So Pony and the rest of the group, Giraffe, they try explaining, like, hey, no, 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 everything's fine. We can be friends. Everything's cool. But Willow, she's not taking none of that. She basically kidnaps all of you, arrests all of you, if you want to call it arresting, and throws you in some gel somewhere at a TSP compound. And now the entire group is, is sitting in a cell. There is seemingly no way to get out, and ZZ and Zuzu, Zizi, sisters they are nowhere to be seen and that is where the chapter ends off on this huge cliffhanger now of course i have a lot of theories there's a lot of stuff here especially tigre we've got zizzy sisters we we've got a lot of stuff giraffe betraying people it, it, there's a lot to talk about i'm gonna have a lot of theory videos coming out over the next week so make sure you are subscribed for that with that being said though there's a lot to to break down in this we've got a lot of notes and a lot of secret easter eggs in this chapter um as well as two new skins in fact i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna show off the two new skins let's get those out of the way and then we'll talk about the notes so the first new skin is actually raise this is a robot rat not a mouse but a rat i actually have a huge theory on this rat as well and he here's some gameplay Now, this is the bot for the chapter. Nothing too crazy. It looks cool, though, but it is the bot for the chapter. Now, the second skin is actually this bad boy right here, Felix. Now, Felix is, uh, I, I'm guessing, a cat, although he kind of looks like a, a mouse a little bit. I'm not really sure what Felix is. A fox? Felix the fox. That makes sense. Felix, he has to be a fox. Anyway, he's wearing, like, this masquerade costume. He's got a mask on. He's got a rose. Obviously, he went to some ball, and he's not actually in the chapter, so he is non-canon for now, but he is a playable skin, and he Here's some gameplay. So that's all two of the new skins that are available for purchase in the shop. Let's move on to the notes. Now, I do want to say I, I've went through, I've played the map through numerous times. These are, I'm pretty sure, all of the notes. I, if I missed one, let me know down in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure I did not. Anyway, let's start off with the room you spawn in. The room you spawn in is actually your room, and there's some pretty cool stuff in this room. Like, for example, you have this note on a bookshelf right below your police outfit, actually, and it says, Sir, the detective deserves a promotion. Nearly every investigation that 
they've been on has been sobbed, and it's a note by Doggy. This was a note that Doggy wrote to the police chief saying that you yourself deserves a promotion because you've been doing such a good job. So a really cool little note there that the player kept that. It's obvious that the player really does, in fact, miss Doggy. Now, in Zizzy's sister's rooms, they do share a room. There's actually a diary, and this is what the diary says. There's actually two, uh, two whole diaries here. First one says, November 2nd, Mimi started schooling us again, and it's so boring. I already know how to write, do maths, and I know everything about science. November 3rd, I scared Giraffe today with my awesome sword moves. He he he, he got so spooked. Now that one was sitting on the shelf next to the window. There's another one by the bed and it says November 3rd. Fencing practice was a blast as always. Zuzi managed to give Giraffe a scare with her foil. Is, is, is that what the sword is called maybe? She really loved that. She couldn't stop laughing all day. It really makes me happy to see her smile. Mimi also has been talking a lot about the radio too. I wonder what that could be about. And then November 4th, some of us went to meet with another group. I overheard them talk about whether or not to go. I didn't feel right about it, and I agreed with Pony's argument. Zizzy didn't come back. I have to stay strong for Zuzi. Now, when you rescue Pony, he's actually got a few notes as well. The first one is actually, it's pretty sad. I miss you, mom and dad. Every night, I feel the guilt of what I've done, but I'll make things right, I promise. Now, this one's interesting. I, I'm not really sure what Pony did. I, I made a theory a while back that Pony actually did something really bad in TSP. Maybe he's the one that actually infected Doggy. I think that'd be a cool little plot twist. Um, Maybe maybe he did something, and now his mom and dad is infected as a result. I'll have a theory video on this. You betcha. But anyway, moving on, there is another note underneath his bed, and um, this one this one's pretty good. This one simply says, Willow will pay. So he's, he's pretty mad, and he he blames Willow for Zizzy's uh, infection. Now in Giraffe's room, we actually get some pretty cool backstory on Giraffe. There is a picture in his room, and it's a picture of the chapter for uh, cabins. And it says, we'll miss you, Counselor G. Counselor G standing for Counselor Giraffe. Giraffe was the counselor at uh, at the forest camp. So that's a pretty cool little uh, piece of story there. Now as well as that, there's a certificate in his room that says, this certificate certifies that Giraffe has shown exceptional skills in environmental studies at the biology school of Lambridge. So Giraffe is really, really smart super smart. Now, in the radio room, there's a note behind the radio, and it simply says, never turn this on ever again. Obviously, the last time they turned it on, they ran into Willow's group, and now everything has went bad because of that, so they're not going to touch the radio ever again. Now, in Mimi's room, there's actually a note on the wall, and it says, fact or fiction analysis by Mimi. This is a common misconception that has been going on for far too long. I would like to first outline the fact that, yes, I am a mole, and no, I am not blind. With that being said, there are some colors I cannot see, and I cannot see well overall. I hope some day to learn enough about optometry to be able to cre create perfect eyewear for me in order to assist me in seeing better. Right now though, my nose is doing all the work. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting because near the escape door, there is, uh, there's a secret note and I don't know what it says. It's a coded note. I haven't been able to fully decode this yet. I'm gonna be working on this in today's live stream. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And then there's also a weird target underneath uh, or by the wall where this note is. And I, I don't know what this means either, but I have an idea. It's actually tied to the next thing we're going to talk about. So this next thing is actually pretty big. And honestly, I don't know what triggers this. A few of you guys have sent me a picture of this, but for the most part, it seems to be that you have to do something in order to make this happen. It seems to be part of a big or larger Easter egg in this chapter that we haven't really fully figured out yet. But anyway, here's the screenshot. It is a picture of Pony randomly saying the insolence watches, huh? What did I just say? A strange voice just came into my head, but I don't remember what it told me. Now, I'm pretty sure that this, the insolence watches, has to do with this note here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've actually decoded part of this note, and I'm pretty sure part of it does say the insolence watches. And it also has something to do with this tweet here that Minitune tweeted that we also haven't been able to solve. Again, we're going to be uh, working on that on today's live stream. Anyway, this is really big because this means either one of two things. Uh, option one, Pony is starting to go crazy after losing. Zizzy, he's going crazy, he's starting to lose it, and he's losing his mind. Or, alternatively, option two, the insolence here is part of some dark mysterious force or dark mysterious creature that is magical or something similar to that and it's influencing events and it's watching everything that's going on pretty big stuff if true keep in mind we also have bunny's ghost up in the watchtower from chapter 11 of book one not only that but mr stitchy the teleporting weird stick looking creature is actually canon he's in the game so that makes him canon now so could the insolence be 
relate it to Mr. Stitchy? Could there be some weird magical evil force going on here? I guess we'll have to find out in the future. Uh, or maybe there's another part of this Easter egg hidden in this chapter. We'll have to find that out later today on stream. Now, one last thing that's interesting as well is in the actual jail cell at the end of the chapter, there is actually what seems to be a sewer grate in the floor. Now, I couldn't imagine there being just a sewer escape right there in the jail cell. So I'm not really sure what that is, but it's possible that the next chapter could maybe be a sewer escape. And well, the final thing I want to point out here, a little fun fact is that this scene right here in the trailer where Willow is actually firing her weapon at someone is actually the exact same place at the end of this chapter in the jail cell. So it looks like in the next chapter, somebody is getting shot. I'll have a theory video on who it is and why I think it is that person. Anyway, that is all for this video. That's basically the story explained. That's all the notes that we found so far. Uh, of course, we still have to decode that one note and we have to figure out what's going on with this insolence. Like what, what, what in the world is this? Is dark, mysterious force? If you haven't yet subbed, make sure you're subscribed because again, we're giving out the Robux codes. Leave your name down below. Also, make sure you're in my group as well. That helps out as well. It's just another way for me to contact you. Anyway, keep using Star Code Real Creek as well. It helps me out, allows me to buy all these Robux codes to give out to you guys. I've literally spent almost $7,000 in the past year giving out Robux codes to you guys. So I appreciate you using my star code. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I miss anything, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.